we get a little bit um, calloused to politicians that lie to us because it happens so often. Mm -hmm. We've been inundated with lies for the past three years, those lies having real dramatic impacts on our lives. But if, in fact, he did have um, any kind of fiduciary interest in what was going on in, in Wuhan, if. if I were a prosecutor, I would be looking at any potential charge for anyone involved in the depths, the, bre the breadth of this fraud. This fraud which perpetrated on the American... Well, which well, I mean, yeah. DOJ, by the way, like, it's, it, and it will not get that far because he is so intimately involved politically. I would settle for a public statement accepting culpability and an apology. That is one thing he has yet to do. He has yet to say, I am wrong, I was wrong, and I'm so sorry for the consequences because it doesn't just stop at the viral origins. What about the fact that he continued to recommend that children as young as two wear face masks? The CDC now mm -hmm. telling us that well, there were consequences to those actions and those children ages three to 17 diagnosed with developmental disabilities are up 17% from 2019. Don't tell me this isn't because our kids were in face masks and kept out of school. You know, earlier in the show, I spoke with Jacqueline Teak clinical director and speech pathologist about this very thing. Take a listen. What we're seeing in our clinic is tremendous amount of referrals of speech and language delays, developmental delays, social pragmatic delays, just general motor planning disorder. It's really, it's astounding um, and not a surprise at all. The mandates that were in place, people staying at home for a long period of time and not getting out and socializing has just negatively impacted so much of our child's development. Talk to your pediatrician, get the referral, don't wait. Um, they really need that, the assistance um, help them to catch up from what, you know, where they were. And the sad part is this is probably not kids who otherwise have a good home situation or a good school situation with parents who have the means and ability to provide for them over the time. These are kids who are already behind, who already yep. had uh, environmental, uh, societal, family, issues and challenges now you stick them in a mask you pull them out of class you don't socialize them they're probably staring at a phone and then we wonder why the long-term effects uh, of disability and developmental problems exist mm -hmm. and the cdc's coming out with this i mean fine the cdc they've lost all credibility too on on almost any issue as they dabble into you know gender affirming care and all the other stuff they do these days